Hi guys, let's have a look at this. How do I cut a shape or section or segment from a line or shape? You know you've been working in designer and you get that line and you really want to take a piece out of it. Well, here's how you do it. Now let me show you. Very simple. I'll start with a new document. Use the default sheet that comes up. Now if you're following this, you can use any size that fits your project. But I, in this example, I've just used the first one that comes up. It's fine. And there we go. Pinch the canvas in a little so it fits on the screen. Makes it easier to see what you're doing. Now then, let's begin by drawing a freehand shape with the pencil, just to get started. Now, a lot of people are having trouble with the pencil, but really, it's very easy. But of course, <laughs> if you can't draw on paper, you probably can't draw on the iPad but it just requires practice. So let's get to it. Okay, now that we have a pencil draw and shape on the canvas, this is one I made previously, <laughs> maybe some parts need removing. Now, how do you do that? Let's see. I know it's not much, but I want to remove that segment from the continuous line that forms the sleeve. Now you can see where the I've drawn a circle there and it goes kind of through his arm, which is, even though it's only a cartoon character, it kind of gives it a bit of a, mm, a bit of a very amateurish look. The segment to remove is that part between the arm lines and the red arrows right on it. Not the full circle of the sleeve, just that segment. It's all about nodes. Now that you have the segment selected, Next, select the Mode tool. Now that's selected with the Move tool, right? Up the top, so that you can select the appropriate layer. Now you select the Node tool, and you'll see the existing nodes as dots around the shape. You can now see the existing nodes as dots around the shape. See them there? It's no longer in the box, it's actually the dots that make up the curve that makes up that circle. And we're going to take out one part of that. In this case, we have the first two dots just where we want them. There's the first dot and the second dot. Now you can see I kind of made a false start up the top there, just to the top right of the red square. Well, that's okay, and the red square is the active one. But there, that's the segment we're going to remove from the red square down to the dot that's got the yellow arrow pointing at it. The first step is to select the first dot that we want to use. Now I'm going to start with the lower dot, just so things don't get confusing with the two little dots next to each other up there. Carefully touching the first dot with your Apple Pencil also brings up all those other dots. No matter, just ignore them. We don't want to be worried about those. You can see the first dot is now the biggest blue dot there. That's the one we need. Next, select Break from the Context Toolbar. And the dots go away. Now you can't see Break down there, but when you touch that first dot, as previously, in the Context Toolbar you'll see one of those options is Break. Now it's greyed out there because I've already touched it. And when you touch it, all those three dots go away. The line is actually broken at that point, even though you can't see it. Now, touch the dot at the top of the line. That's the square up the top. And again, you'll get some extra points. Those blue dots, extra blue dots. But no matter, touch the dot at the top of the line. Nothing obvious is happening yet. Now, tap or delete, that's the rubbish bin, in the context toolbar, the line segment is gone. But there's a bit of overhang. Oh no. So just repeat the process. Note, with the node tool still selected, tap the line where you want to break it, right on the stick figure's arm. Tap break in the context toolbar, tap the top open end of the little line, and tap delete and the line's gone. I'd practice that if I was you. It's fairly simple. Tap break, 
Tap the other end of the segment you want to remove. Tap delete. Segment gone. So, there's our little cartoon man, slightly adjusted. The same thing applies to any line or shape in designer. Now that looks rather neat. It hasn't got the sleeve going through his arm. <laughs> now, if changing a shape, you first convert the shape to a curve. You can't change it otherwise, except change its size. So, you go up to the top to the Edit menu and select Make it a Curve. And you can see, now it's a curve. Using the same methods as for the previous example, Edit Nodes. Then tap one, tap the other end, break, and delete. And you can see right at the top of the cog there, I've moved one piece of the cog. Let me show you that again. <clears throat> Tap the first end you want to start on. Tap a node point where you want to cut to. Tap break. Tap the first node you started on and tap delete. What could be simpler? Final example. Breaking a line done with the pen. On the line, place a node. Tap a node point where you want to cut to. Tap break. Tap the first node you started on and tap delete. Easy as. So as you can see there, the red bar is the part that I took out of the line just below it that's circled with the red, the red um, circle. Easy as. So my friends, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the thumbs up to like. I really appreciate it.